Hello my gingerbread and jelly bean, welcome again to J Vlogs. Thanks for tuning in, thanks to all the new subscribers, which is one subscriber, I'm now at 248, yay! So I might reach 250 before the year end, I just need two more. And the people that subscribe to my channel, you guys have been here, so it's not like people subscribing and dropping off. You guys are staying and I really appreciate that. Let's get into the video. Now, today I want to talk about the whole rice, plastic rice specifically, plastic rice that's in Jamaica now and the plastic rice you know phenomena that's going on you know from the east coming over to the west places like India have been reporting it now Jamaica so I want to talk about it and kind of go in depth into the whole plastic rice and kind of give some information based on what I've learned about the whole plastic rice situation and let people be aware of what's going on around the world are because I know a lot of people don't I've never heard about this plastic rice situation especially here in the US a lot of producers in China have been producing fake goods over the years we know a lot of imitation stuff has been produced in China along with original stuff so most of the big brands that you know like the Nike here um, the Adidas stuff like that um, plastic cup spoon everything almost 90 percent of the products that we use around the world come from China they're a big producer they produce a lot of stuff so if you look on your stuff your battery your um, Asia um, China so they produce a lot of stuff now when you have a big economy like that and you produce a lot of stuff you tend to lose your natural resources you tend to lose your land you tend to you know produce so much that everything get polluted you know things become dangerous so no you're running out of space um, things are so expensive now, so the manufacturers are now mixing the normal rice with the plastic rice. And we know that there's technology out there that can actually make this thing happen. So we have seen it on the social media, we've seen it on the, um, the internet where people actually showing us how to produce rice and bagging it up. Now this has been pushing to the west and it has reached India. I saw it on the news a few months ago, this is before the whole rice situation in Jamaica. I watched the news and I saw it on the news and in India there's a big market there's a, I think there's at least 1 billion people in, in India it's, it's a lot so they have been having this rice um, problem along with other goods the plastic rice so it came on the news and I saw it and I was like oh that is what is going on now and they're trying to clamp down on it no the whole rice situation in Jamaica people are getting angry people are getting mad and saying oh we supposed to grow what we eat. Yes, I do agree with that. Grow what you eat, you know, eat what you grow. I do agree with that. We do need to produce a lot more. But when you come to rice, it's kind of complex where rice is concerned. In the Caribbean, there's a few Caribbean countries like Guyana specifically and Suriname that produce rice. And the reason why they produce rice is because they have the infrastructure for many years. Just like oh, back in the slavery days, sorry, back in the slavery days when they had sugar cane and cotton, on bauxite it other countries had rice um certain countries had diamond and gold and they, those were big export and they are still big export no the countries you know improved and that created factories you know owning these things now and started to produce them and export them to, to build their economy just like how jamaica produced um bauxite um and, and export that and, and sugar cane and other stuff like that so these countries, our Caribbean neighbors produce rice like Suriname and Guyana. The problem that we have with importing rice from China is that Jamaica is an is a, is a, is a open market where um, businesses can come and set up shop in Jamaica and then import stuff from other countries. No, these importers, they import rice from China, I guess because it is cheaper and they can make more profit off it rice coming from guyana and suriname is okay most of the products that come from the caribbean is okay the same banana the planting sugar all those stuff they're they're organic they're they're original there's no gmo genetically modified um products you understand they grow these things naturally like jamaica grow them naturally so they have less problem like here in the US. Now, when you start to import from China, that's where the problem comes. You're going to get a lot of imitation stuff coming over. And we have to put the blame where it is due. These importers are to blame. So stop blaming the government. Yes, the government have 
and handling this, but you can't restrict an importer that's paying taxes, lots of taxes, million dollars in taxes, to stop import from that country because you shouldn't import from it. No, they're having problems so they can say, hey, is either you fix up that or we shut down import or we don't accept imports from that country. So we have to blame the importers, right? That's where the, that's where the problem originates. Blaming the importers that import rice from China, knowing that we have Guyana and Suriname or Caribbean country, right? The CARICOM countries that produce rice. Take rice from there where it is safe. Cut off the, the imports from China. Simple as that. And that will help to fix the problem, right? No, no. Back to the eat what we grow, grow what we eat situation. People are saying that, all right, Jamaica need to grow rice and stuff like that. First thing first, we need infrastructure to grow rice, meaning land. We need a lot of wetland, right? Gross, um, rice need a lot of water and moisture to grow. When I say a lot, a lot of water, you have to basically grow rice in like a, a wetland, watery area. It has to be a lot of water, it has to be moist. I, I, it, uh, what I've learned so far, you cannot plant rice in the summer months because there won't be enough moisture in the ground to actually hold the seed, actually hold on to that and grow. So you have to grow in like the winter time. And as you know, Jamaica, if you didn't know, Jamaica is very hot. Jamaica is a constant 32 degrees Celsius. I don't use Fahrenheit because Fahrenheit is very confusing to me. Water freeze at zero degrees and boils at 100 degrees Celsius. It's simple as that. So if I say 32 degrees, then you can understand what 32 is. 32 is hot. 32 degrees hot. And Jamaica is a constant 30 to 32 degrees all year round. Except when you get like a cold front. That's it. So where rice production is concerned, we need a lot of land and wetland, moist land. Jamaica Jamaica producers, they were, why the lights this, you know? Jamaica producers, they, we had drought for like two years. Literally, that the farmers, they had drought for two years. We were having this problem in Jamaica, right? There's hardly any rain, right? So the yam and the, and the, and the banana and the, and the Irish and all those stuff were affected because we have the drought. So just imagine you now, Jamaica trying to plant rice on a mass scale to feed us because we consume so much rice. Just look, just look, take that into consideration. It's a lot. You need a lot of water, you need a lot of land space that, that is moist, wetland area. In my head, I'm saying that all right, Jamaica can you know plant rice on the, the hillside where it's cool and stuff like that. But then you have to dig the land, you have to shape it in a certain way to ensure that they collect the water whenever the rain falls. So it's like a big project. So I don't think it's, it's economically viable for us to actually grow rice at this point. Probably farmers can do it on a small scale and we see where we can go from there. But to cut import from Guyana and Suriname, I think that's, that's bad for Jamaica. We can't do that. If we could, then the government would you know, go there. But we need to export and import. It's business. You need to buy, we need to sell. It's, 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 you know, it's an open market. We can't be too selfish. You know, but... I just want people to be educated. Um, the whole rice now, looking out for the bad rice, simple. The reason why we're getting the bad rice is because we sell rice in retail. There's this big crocus bag that they sell. They sell it here in the States too. In Jamaica, it's a bit expensive. So they pour it out of the crocus bag and sell it in the pound, two pound, three pound, four pound, five pound plastic bag. So you don't have any labels on it because it's the retail, retail right that's where the problem is there's no label on it there's no branding on it to say hey that rice come from here or that rice come from here no you have rice like alberta rice you have the jasmine rice you have those rice yes they're a bit more expensive but if you can you know fork out a little more money and those buy the the branded rice then you can avoid getting the plastic retail rice you see what i'm saying so that's one way you can actually prevent yourself from actually getting caught up with that rice also look at the back of it where you see made in rice made in brazil rice made in thailand or made in china or made in Guyana, or made in syria you have to look on the back of it um brazil is a big exporter of rice as well 
the rice that grandma used comes from Brazil. I always look at the back of the stuff to see where the rice come from. So just look out for it, be mindful, try to be get educated about these things. If you see something on the internet and you don't know what it's about, go on it, Google it, get information about it, you know, get the get the the information, say no. So when people on the internet talking, you can give them advice and say, hey, you know that we can, you know, we can produce rice, but it's this and that and it's you know you need a lot of water and stuff don't be don't be lazy don't be lazy and feel like all right then government should do this or the government should that and blah 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 and you don't know how it work just edu get educated about it do your research you know it's simple as that it's not too hard to do all these things so you know I hope you guys, that's what I'm going to end. I hope you guys like this video. It might be too long, but I'm posting it anyway. You guys better watch it, you know, or else a war. But yeah, thanks for watching J Vlogs, guys. I hope this helps. I hope this is educational. I hope you guys are aware and doing stuff that is needed to protect yourself from all these imitation stuff, the rice and all those stuff. And just keep safe, take care of yourself, be healthy over the Christmas season. I know a lot of cooking going on, so ensure that you cook the proper rice and not the plastic rice that will kill you off and you know clog up your system and stuff like that so thanks for watching j vlogs again guys eat good rice mr dumpling banana chicken everything love you guys i'm out